The last year and a half of treatment for leukemia has been hard enough on Liam Westrom and his mom, Christy. Do you like going to school every day? Yeah. But now that he's in remission, a drug Liam still relies on monthly is in short supply. It's scary. It's really scary. It is like the foundation of, of the entire therapy. To have an external force say that your best known therapy isn't available is very concerning and a, you know, a nightmare scenario isn't a stretch. Dr. Nathan Gasai is a pediatric oncologist at Children's Minnesota, which treats about a thousand kids for cancer each year, and most of them could be impacted by a shortage of the drug called vincristin. Different people have tried different things, but there's never been anything that's been as effective or proven. But despite its importance, in July, the FDA said drug maker Teva made a business decision to discontinue the product. That left Pfizer as the only manufacturer, and it's had trouble keeping up with demand. Is it affecting patients here? Yeah. Right now, we've been able to get all of our patients all the therapy they need, but that by no means are we out of the woods. His next appointment is in a couple weeks. So far, Liam's on track for his dose, but according to momcology.org, families in other states are not so lucky. I think everyone's just kind of scared right now because they're having to go off treatment and as a parent, it's infuriating. In an email today, Pfizer said it will add more shipments of the critical drug in the next few weeks in order to support three to four times its typical production.